It'd be kind of... I wish the commentators could talk in the race room. <laughs> Hi, everyone. My name's Tic Tac Fo. We'll be commentating this race between Spoody Biscuit and Yuka. Like we're having some setup issues here. But we're ironing them out. It's the first week of Condor X2. This is where things everyone remembers to uh, <laughs> de-rust and blow the dust off of however they raced Necrodancer. I was talking about it with Civ Korea yesterday, how like everyone has their own jank setup. <laughs> to, to make it work so they can see their opponent and discord and you know all the information they need to see and yeah it looks like that's exactly what's happening here <laughs> what I can gather Obsidian Division, Spooty Biscuit versus Yuka ND. I'm Tic Tac Bo. Here we go. Got the 1 1 music playing for the 1 1 level. And we already have a divergent pathing between our racers. Spooty finds a war drum, which can give potential uh, damage boosts. We can open barrels with it. Takes forever, but you can do it. And we're both in the one two at relatively the same time. We see the exit Minotaur. We're looking around the rest of the level though for other things. Gonna find a bomb over on Spooty's side while Yuka is wrangling that Minotaur down and up. There's a locked shop as well. We might check that one out. There's usually good stuff in there. And Spooty's gonna wrangle that Minotaur to get that potion over on the start of the level. And inside the shop is some magic cheese, obsidian armor, and a strength torch. I wouldn't mind killing for that. Um, you have two bombs for it. That's, that'd be a decision, though. Yuka's gonna pass on all that. Head down to 1-3 with a red chest and a glass torch. Not as good as the uh, strength torch that Spooty just purchased plus one damage, and then there's that potion. Yuka gonna bomb trap this barrel open and find the crown of teleportation. And now we're gonna have to deal with this dragon and accompanying enemies. Spooty finally down to one three. There's a cracked wall here. Yuka's kind of getting swarmed up here a little bit. Might just take an exit down the door there. I was handling it, okay. Looks like they might want to try to get that cracked wall open. Spooty's going to use that blood drum for the two hit on the red dragon. And we'll head down into the zone one. Oh, no, it's just saw that cracked wall. Going to alter course here. There's a transmute shop. Went for a shovel on Yuka's side. Gets the battle shovel and then went for a weapon. Got the glass broadsword and going to finish it off with a headpiece. In the uh, headphones for a total of six damage. Spooty's gonna grab a shovel times two. Ends up with a glass shovel. Yuka might have won out on that transmute. And Kanga's your zone two boss. Yuka's gonna bomb to get into phase two. And should be able to swipe left there and destroy Kanga's hopes of remaining king. Spooty's gonna do uh, the blood drum hit. And Black Chest has an obsidian spear which I imagine both racers will switch off to. Yuka would love some ballet shoes right now. Keep those headphones going and the obsidian. 
Both racers finding a fireball tome in 2-1 and headed towards the exit. Big armadillo, that's the real boss of this level. It's gonna survive for both of them. See, real boss. Shop check for Spooty. Gonna find some armor, some boots. Looks like they're gonna kill for this. <laughs> Using the teleport crown, all right. <laughs> Worked pretty well. And is gonna have that early advantage of armor. Here's a ring for Yuka. Gonna bomb for the Ring of War. Switched off to the circlet as well. Ring of War is okay. Additional damage and the knockback. He'll be down to core with first. Should be a throw fireball kill here. Wait, what? Oh, the fireball didn't kill. Okay, gotcha. Three damage. Gets the flawless victory though. Check in purple, gets fireball spell to replace those tomes. Spooty's into that fight. Does not have a quick kill. Is gonna have to do some shenanigans in the water here with the explorer boots, but we'll take out the tentacles to get into phase two. Well, it gets a hit in there for phase two. Yuka sees a green bat down to half a heart though. Makes that bat extra scary. But blesses the seed. Spooty's gonna pick up that fireball spell. Tier three cracked wall there that um, Yuka could not get into. Could have been the food shop. No green bat spot for Spooty. Heckin' cursed. <laughs> There's a conjurer for Spooty looking for a weapon. Gets Glass Cat. Gonna run with that. And we're seeing the exit here for Spooty. Gonna use some blood magic to take out that blue dragon. Works pretty well. Well, Yuka tries to get to the exit there. It was that second tier three wall, so we're not gonna see the food shop over on Yuka's side. And there is a bit of variance now because Spooty killed their shopkeep or Yuka's is still alive. Easy death. Uh, nope, that's a deep loose fight for Yuka. Just a throw kill there. Spooty's going to have to do a little bit of dancing here with the chest pieces. But should be able to one shot deep blues. There it is. And a shield spell in the purple chest, which Yuka's using right now to deal with that swarm on 4 1. Slowly making their way, cutting through this level. Spooty getting telemonkeyed back a little bit there. Oh, Yuka going down to a black bat. Did not have luck. And got dunked. There you'll have it. Spooty with the very big advantage. Imagine would like to switch off of uh, this class, or just run it. Do that too. Yeah, careful them pixies with the cat. They explode. Here's a weapon swap, perhaps titanium cat. Wonderful. Still dishing out three damage with that torch. <laughs> Missed the fireball on death metal. It happens. Yuka's uh, going a little bit of an alternate route on their run back. Seeing what else the seed has to provide. Which is fair. When your opponent's this far ahead, that's kind of pretty much all you can do. Hope for your opponent to go down. Which at this division probably won't happen, but... We've seen strange things occur during Dead Ringer and Necrodancer fights. One more level for Spooty here, and we'll see the first Dead Ringer of the match. Good uh, level read there for Spooty. Digging right to the exit. And here's Dead Ringer. It's a left side spawn. 
like we're gonna do Japanese strats. Oh, gets hit though. Goodbye, shovel. Needing a fireball to clean up the rest of that fight. Only the, the bummer about losing that shovel is here is we don't get that early quick hit on Necrodancer. Normally we would. And there's the potion pop for the extended shield in phase two. One more hit and Spooty's gonna get the first loot of the match just under nine minutes race time. 37 in game GG Here's a look at Yuka's death That black bat there careful Yeah black bats tend to just dunk you when they're next to you if you don't have uh, your luck going And you could pay the price. Small break here before the next race. There are a bunch more races going on today. Schedules posted in chat there. Evtet versus Spreka going on right now. Spreka's up one to zero over Evtet. And they'll be taking on Elarez after that. All right, here we go. Next seed being entered. And our racers are readying up. Countdown's on. Race number two of this match. Underway. Yuka's gonna grab that first trapdoor they see. Scooty's gonna look around a little bit. Finds a red bat cave. Those usually have pretty good chests in them. And Infernal Torch. And an extra bomb. I think that's worth a little extra look there. You can the one two is gonna get some value out of this upcoming bomb. Well, not really, I guess. Oh no! <laughs> oh, they jumped on the bomb too. Uh, they revealed a titanium shovel, which could have saved them that bomb. But they will try to defeat this blood shopkeeper, and they do get the blood drum and a pretty good torch. And then finally that shovel. Oh, Spooty saw it too and still used a bomb as well. But had that extra one from 1 1 to get a safe shop kill there. Pick up the same items as uh, Yuka. Also, that gold bow. See some gold kills. I like that pick. I would have done that too. You just gotta pick your targets. Set up the gold kills. Looks like Yuka took a hit. Oh yeah, Yuka bombed themselves. On to uh, Death Metal, your zone one boss. Gonna use the blood dagger throw for an easy win there, but down to half a heart. Checking black chest for the weapons. Blueberry whip. Pretty strong, but pretty awkward to use. We'll see how Yuka handles it. Pretty well on that first dragon on 2-1. Gonna pick up a potion along the way and that's gonna be super helpful for their half heart remaining. Spooty finally making their way down to that death metal fight. Should be able to line up a uh, ghost for a gold kill or just blood drum. It looks like we're going ghost for the gold kill. Well done. You could try to get a leprechaun spawn there, but the mole ate their stack of gold. Hey, a piercing whip now. After this arena, there's that leprechaun. Not gonna get away so easily from a whip. 
There's the leprechaun for Spooty. Spooty did not go for that blueberry whip. They went purple chest and found a free spell. Not bad. In two de- <laughs> Spooty got a uh, bull flanked there, took a hit. And Yuka on to deep blues, your zone two boss. Looks like they don't know the lane two whip strats for the quick kill, but does get a flawless victory. He's gonna be switching off this whip to a blood bow. <laughs> I mean, eh, two damage with uh, the glasses and healing. I'm gonna stay on the whip. Spooty with a freeze kill on deep blues. Gonna go purple chest again. It's a pulse spell. But there's a full heal for Yuka. And headed down into 3 2. Yeah, trap doors with a whip are awkward. There goes that potion. Been dunked by the dragon. Let's try that again in the next trap door. This time with a Minotaur. This one's handled a bit better. Bring a piercing helping. And both racers with mapping will make short work of this zone three. Spooty checking the shop here. I'll probably pick up this uh, backpack and yeah, all the things. Earth Tome. Artisimal first for Yuka though. With a whip, this can be kind of weird too. Let's see how they handle it. They get him in the phase two, but takes a clap a hit. And then yeah, the uh, Fortissimal splash. Yeah, it's usually the uh, that first attack on for on Fortissimal, you hit the uh, skeletal line when you're trying to attack Fortissimal to get people in trouble. But it does complete it. We'll continue on to zone four. Spooty's gonna use that bow to an effective flawless victory. We'll see what they choose this time. Going for the chest, it's a squagga suit. All right. So rock this gold bow all the way to the end. Yuka at half a heart. Who but a glass shop? We're gonna kill for this. Oops, all glass. Good swap. I like it. You're at half a heart. Everything is gonna kill you if they hit you anyway. You get off that whip shenanigan. Now you're dishing out eight piercing damage. Spooty finally finding a weapon swap to a gold cat, so two damage piercing with that. Not bad, but a spider's gonna eat Spooty's potion, though. I'm gone on that one. But we'll exit 4-2 into 4-3, just as Yuka's completing 4-2 uh, here. Almost catching up. Bit of a swarm at the exit. Yeah, Spooty has that uh, spell advantage right now and using it really well to clear out a lot of these enemies and then the exit room. Ooh, careful, yeah, that pixie is gonna take a heart and a half off of Spooty with that cat attack. But it does make it into a conga fight. Going to Earth Zuma. Getting to zone five. Has a quick kill for uh, Dead Ringer with the freeze Earth Earth and finds a food shop so it can get a quick heal in while Yuka takes on King Kanga. Lost their glass armor, so one hit will kill them as long as they remain on that glass jaw. Into zone five we go. Excellent freeze by Spooty there. And digging straight to the exit. Gonna get caught up a little bit here. Takes a hit, but has enough health and armor. And cooker reserves to deal with it. Whole level ahead of Yuka now. And takes a, a quick shortcut through one monster room, one monster closet. And into Dead Ringer. Yuka went down at the 5 2 exit. The left side spawn again. Here's your freeze, earth, earth. And Spooty's gonna wrap up this one with another Necker Dancer fight and another loot collected. In that first hit in this time with the blood shovel.
And one more lure here, and Spooty's gonna have it. Sub eight this time around, 742 uh, race time, 732 in game. GG's. Pretty fun run that one. Didn't really get a weapon until zone four. <laughs> And Yuka was managing their health all the way until zone five when it finally depleted. We'll get one more race out of these two though. Matches are always a, a race of three. Each victory is a point awarded to that racer for their total Condor X2 score which is how the next uh, matchups are created. And we'll get this next one going here in a little bit. Countdown is on. Really cracked wall on 1-1. One, one. Is it the blood shop? Sure is. It's okay. Uh, torch and uh, gold rapier is what we're going for. Yuka, unfortunately, did not get the good RNG. Or Spooty did. Those um, shopkeeper teleports are not seated, but Yuka does get it on the second try. We'll see the blood drum, gold rapier, and torch pick up from both racers, and we'll move along into the next level. <laughs> Yuka take another bat hit there. <laughs> Yuka's having poor bat RNG today. Good bomb here from Spooty. Opens up that mouse trap and gets the dragon. And there's your leprechaun. Gonna swap to the titanium broadsword. And the good blood drum kill for Yuka on that red dragon. We're both into 1 3. Holy water in this chest. Now, uh, Yuka, I was gonna say Yuka might use it to heal up here. Looks like they're trying to decide if that's what they wanna do. And we'll. Finally get there. Okay, that took a lot of a lot of dancing back and forth. It's gonna allow Spooty to get into a trap door for your zone one mosh pit, and this is deep blues. Let's see if uh, Spooty does a blood drum kill here. Setting up for it anyway. There you go. Checkmate. Yuka's in. Yuka could go up the middle, I think. Yeah, going up the middle here would work. Ah, uh, maybe not. The lunge would hit before the gold kill. They're just gonna bomb. And Spooty check purple got a fireball spell. See if Yuka does the same. No, they went black and found the red harp. Blood harp. Won't be taking that staying on the rapier. And a conjure. 2 1 for Spooty. Gonna look for a ring. It's the ring of might. And then a pickaxe. Gonna leave that there. Doesn't want it. That Ring of Might would be really good with Yuka's build. Oh, didn't get it though. Didn't even check for a ring. Just went with the pickaxe and left. That'll allow them to get this potion. Spooty got in there with the armadillo, I think. And uh, last shop check here on 2-3. Gonna get a heal for Spooty. Uh, we'll see if Yuka checks it. Yeah, looks like Yuka's gonna go for that heal as well. There's that Squagga suit again for Spooty on 2-3 to the left there. Looks like Yuka's gonna skip that and try to 
find their way to the exit. Takes a big hit there from a black mage. Down to half a heart. Trying to get to that peace shrine. Oh, just gonna blow it up. I suppose we got a uh, potion. So it gets the ring of peace. Spooty finds a trap door down into the death metal fight. Blood drum kill here again. No, pain boots, I see, have been acquired. I'll deal with it well. Yuka's in it there, and there's a weapon for Spooty, that obsidian rapier. It's like Yuka using the blood kill there, going to get the obsidian rapier as well. Magic cheese for Spooty, going to heal them up back to almost full health. Yuka should be able to find that as well. Crown of Thorns in addition. Oh, Yuka's just going to pass on by. Yeah, opening the wrong barrel. Crown of Thorns is a good pickup, though. Looks like we're going the wrong way on 3-2. Oh, it's a magic drumstick for Yuka, though, so magic food for everybody. Yeah, Yuka is very lost here. Full clearing. Spooty almost full cleared it. Into uh, the 3-3 exit room, though. There's a bat here in a cracked wall. It's in this cracked wall. It's a transmute. Different shovel. There's first try. Shovel of courage. Different ring. Different ring. Uh, one more try. Ring of gold. <laughs> okay. Not getting what we wanted there. Gave the old uh, transmute try, though. Spooty's still in control of this race, though. Yuka's expending some health here. Down to just two hearts, and we'll see. They get the shovel. They're going for a torch here. Did not get any particularly good torch out of that. Guess you're looking for the damage torch. I don't. I don't really know. Gonna use an Azuma bomb strat there for Kanga three. And head on down into zone four. Spooty's down to four two. Skipping my heal spell along the way. We don't need that. We got a Spega suit. That's my heal spell. It's protecting me before I get hurt. Also, all this food along the way. Yuka makes it down into 4 2. There's a Telemonkey for Spooty. Popping that shield spell beforehand. Oh, a little late on that one. Got hit by the Harpy, but a good setup there on the exit. And Yuka goes down. So once again, Spooty pushing their opponent to a demise. And we'll have a relatively simple victory here as they head into zone 5 for the last time. Crown of Thorns will keep Spooty alive. Keep that potion protected. One more level here, and we'll be in Dead Ringer again. Will it be three left side spawns for Spooty? We get that right side spawn. Oh, getting frozen. Oh, getting frozen. Big fireballs. Here's Dead Ringer. It is a left side spawn. We're gonna get some blood uh, drum kills here. Or line up anyway for phase two. Here you go. Potions popped. Into the Necker Dancer fight. Yuka uh, wrangling a dragon over to that one two shop to get a bunch of free ish items. And Spooty's in the phase two of the Necker Dancer. Half health's already gone. Another bat hit on Yuka there on the Deep Blues mosh pit. Bad bat RNG today. One more hit for Spooty. There it is. Gonna sweep this set. The final time of 8.06. GG's. Uh, what? There we go.
that's it for that race we'll see if another one gets scheduled here an update on the other race Spreka defeating Eptet 3 to 0 as well GG's over there there are a bunch more races yet today check the schedule real quick Parker PNG's versus Sivkria right now 